national health insurance premium rate went up on Friday from the previous 4.69 percent to the current 5.17 percent. The supplementary premium rate is also higher now at 2.11 percent. This means that on average, workers will be paying 63 NT more each month than before. But for more than 70 percent of workers, the increase will be no more than 70 NT. Industry groups have slammed the increase, saying the change will drive up costs for businesses. With the start of the new year, the health insurance premium rate went up on Friday from 4.69% to 5.17%. Under the new rate, single individuals earning 42,000 NT will pay 60 NT more every month. For a family of four, that's 242 NT more per month. It should be fine. We're in this together. Those who use the system must pay. That's how it should be. Due to the pandemic, those in tourism and other industries, I think they are feeling the pinch. So in this situation, asking people to reach deeper into their pockets, I think that's going to hurt. According to the National Association of Small and Medium Enterprises, SMEs account for 97 percent of firms in Taiwan. The vast majority of these businesses are part of non-technology supply chains and are most vulnerable to an economic downturn. The association says that amid the impact from the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, increasing manpower costs is just adding insult to injury. Since the RCEP was signed, the entire industrial sector, including plastics and textiles, has experienced problems with imports and exports. And now that costs are going up, it's only getting tougher. So what kind of assistance can be provided in terms of taxation and supply chain support? The last time health insurance premiums were raised was in April 2010. Since then, premiums were lowered twice. Due to financial pressure, the government has brought the rates back up to 2010 levels.